Welcome everybody, my name is Michael, and today we are discussing about Binance's Dutch fine. So, they were fined $3.4 million by Dutch regulators and the Dutch Central Bank for operating illegally. Uh, this is interesting because when we take a look at a different articles by Reuters about the Netherlands Central Bank, it looks like they're pretty tough on crypto exchanges and crypto regulations, but not as tough on money launderers. Too often we see that the bank sector insufficiently acts as a gatekeeper. The DNB said in a letter to the Dutch finance minister responding to the 775 million euro fine given to the Dutch bank ING earlier this month for failing to notice dubious transactions by its clients. Several Dutch banks insufficiently monitor clients in their transactions, enabling them to use accounts for money laundering and other criminal activities, the Dutch central bank, the DNB, stated. So... Looks like uh, double standards, I guess, but regardless, this is one of the highest fines that they could give. The regulator had warned as of 2021 that Binance was offering its service to Dutch customers illegally. There was no authorization. Now, later they did change their tune. Binance was going around to many countries, and at first they would just start up the operations, and if there was any regulatory issues, then they would apologize later. Uh, now they're trying to work with regulators, at least a little bit. So <clears throat> they are trying to make global peace with global regulators, and they've actually uh, gotten licenses in a couple places, uh, most notably in Europe, Italy, France, and Spain. But in the Netherlands, it looks like they're a little bit behind. So looks like they were dealt a Category 3 fine. This is the most stringent of the Dutch National Bank's three levels of enforcement. The charge came in at the upper limit of the 2 million euros to 4 million euros maximum the bank can impose due to the gravity and degree of culpability of the non-compliance. So the breach took over a prolonged period from May 21st, 2020 until at least December 1st, 2021, potentially more so, a year and a half, actually even more than a year and a half. Uh, this is why the Dutch National Bank considers the non-compliance to be very grave. They were also taking a look at the size of Binance and a very substantial customer base in the Netherlands. Uh, currently, they're doing spot volumes of over $15.5 billion daily. Daily, that's a huge amount of money. And there's plenty of countries where Binance might be one of the only big players in there. And right now, it is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges out there so they're not going away anytime soon and there was a lot of comments that were stating hey you know this is just like a bank they're making billions of dollars and a three million dollar fine this is a drop in the bucket for them they won't care there were some people who were concerned about potentially losing their right to operate legally in the netherlands although they're now working to try and regain trust with the Dutch National Bank and they want to um, establish themselves illegally under regulatory rule and obviously they're going to have to worry about taxes and whatnot but they're going to be just fine they're not going away anytime soon and the three million dollars they don't care about this this is just a little bit of a warning sign but if that's the absolute maximum they can do even banks during the 2008 recession when they were fined hundreds of millions of dollars for them it was just an operating cost it wasn't a fine it wasn't a warning it was just a part of business they knew they knew going into it that this is just something they probably have to pay in the future. And Binance has been taking this approach for the past couple of years. Now, do we agree that regulators sometimes overstep and make it very difficult for crypto to go mainstream for silly reasons? Yes. However, in certain cases, regulation is absolutely necessary because it's going to take us from the Wild West days into institutional trust where the institutional money flows in and suddenly we're able to get to the next level. Now, what's interesting is supposedly if they want to make sure that everything's fine with the Netherlands and their base, in order to sort everything out and become fully legal, they might have to share all users' data with the government, as Coinbase is doing right now with the U.S. That's why you cannot directly deposit from your Binance account to a Netherlands bank account right now. And that's not the only country that's been doing this. There's been plenty of countries where you have to go through different countries or there's conversions and you lose a couple percentage fee, but at least you get access to your money. So... This is going to be the step where we're going to see other countries take place with this. And right now, 
Well, tomorrow's video is actually about a platform that has a lot of Chinese control, and through this application, they're able to get into a lot of users' data, millions of people, and they have access to everything, including if you have on your phone any crypto wallets, any crypto information, they might have access to that. Um, so we are advancing as a society with our technology, but going forwards, there's going to be a lot of power that's given away. And the whole point of crypto back in 2008 was to take the power and give it back to the people. Um, now we're kind of going a different opposite direction. So mainstream is good in many aspects, but there are some downsides to it. An overregulation in this case, if this is true, this is what supposedly is supposed to happen, but I, I can see it definitely happening because it's already occurred with other crypto exchanges in other countries, not just Coinbase. This is a very important measure that may not impact us today, but maybe one year or five years down the line, it definitely will be something that we might get a knock at our door because we owe more taxes, or it might be something a little bit more nefarious than that. So you never know. Maybe all your crypto assets get seized. It's just something to think about. Uh, thanks so much for watching today's video. Nice, simple, short, and sweet. Have a great rest of your day. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.